Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Smallville Season 11, uh, Issue 4. You guys know I'm such a big Smallville fan. Um, so let's talk about this. I used to actually do the digital reviews for this, but this series is a lot better for printed. And I used to just buy the printed comic anyway, so I was like, I'm not going to waste the money. So I'll just wait and have the printed comic. So uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the cover first. Um, the covers are more impressive for the digital. Like the art is really good for digital copies. But um, the art is still really good for the printed ones too. It's just like compared to the digital copies, the digital copies are better. Actually, I think we have like a example of like the next digital copy cover. I think it's in the back of the issue. Yeah. This was the digital copy version of the cover and this was what we got on the printed so like I, I feel like the digital copy cover is a little bit better than the printed version but the printed version is still a good cover um and it, it shows what's happened in this issue cyborg superman goes crazy and um superman tries to save the day uh so let's talk about what happened in this story so good cover let's see um like i said cyborg superman just goes crazy because he finds out he's a cyborg it's hank he was a regular guy um, he was married, he, you know, he's just a normal guy, and he, he finds out now that he is a cyborg, he can't have feelings, he can't, you know, he can't touch anything, and, um, he can't feel any touch, so, uh, that's a big thing for him, he gets really angry because of that, and he hates Superman because he couldn't save him, and, um, he blames Lex, of course, also. Um, we see Lex is still a bad guy, um, in this issue, even though Clark, for some reason, says, oh, Lex, maybe you're not a bad guy anymore. And we find out Lex is still a bad guy. Um, we get to see this version of Chloe in this, um, issue, where Chloe from Earth 2, which I don't think that's connected to the Earth 2 we know with DC Comics right now, but she was from Earth 2, she died in this issue, this Earth 2 version of Chloe, and she wanted to give a message to Clark that something terrible is gonna happen. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened in this issue. Um, oh, Clark can't be with Lois for a little while because, uh, Le the reason why Lex is still bad, and we find out, because the explosion of the ship that Hank was in that made him Cyborg Superman, um, put radiation on Superman, um, Clark. So now he, Lex is tracking Superman. And now that Clark can't go near Lois or else, you know, Lex will find out that Superman's Clark Kent. So it's going to be a big problem for their relationship, but Lo Lois is like, alright, I know, I know, just try to figure this out, that way we could be together. Um, so that's pretty much happens in this issue, we get a little of everything, um, all characters, we even get a little Tess, um, which we'll probably get even more of, which Tess story is really interesting. Um, the one problem I have with this um, series in general is that, is that the transition between Superman and Clark we never got to see on TV so we don't really know the difference of Superman and Smallville and Superman in the comics and when I read this I feel like what is the difference with Superman I think that's a big problem with this series is like how do I like how do I feel like this is Tom Welling how do I feel like this is Smallville's Clark Kent because first of all we really haven't even been been really seeing uh, you know, Clark that much, which is really weird because it's Smallville, you know, I do want to still see Clark, and I feel like we don't have those moments, um, like Chloe and Oliver, I don't think they were with Clark, like, at all, and I think that's something that Smallville, was important to Smallville, was really the friends also, and them always talking, them always, like, being together and having other stories besides these big battles, and I think that's one of my disappointments, is that, um, we don't get to see Clark, um, we don't get to see that connection that he used to have with all his friends, and we didn't really, we, again, we don't get to see Clark Kent, and that's Smallville. I love that he's Superman, but, like, also, like, how are we making a difference with Superman, um, from, you know, regular DC Universe and Superman Smallville? I don't really see the difference, because I haven't seen Clark Kent yet. I haven't seen Clark Kent enough in this series. I'm a little disappointed with that. Um, but this issue still accomplishes a lot. Um, there's one thing that I felt like out of character for Clark was when Lex is talking to Clark. You know, Clark hates Lex's guts, and he's given Lex chance after chance after chance, and now he really doesn't trust Lex. So in one line he says, oh, I tr maybe you're a good guy. 
Clark would never say that. He would never trust Lex. And then, you know, obviously Lex double-crosses him in this issue, saying, oh, you know, I have radiation on you, so now I could track you. So then Clark realizes, all right, this is a bad Lex. But Clark would have realized that in the beginning, you know? Clark wouldn't trust Lex. And um, I felt like that was a little out of, char um, out of character. Um, but I did like, Lois was in this a little, Tess was in this a little, they did a good job. Cyborg Superman is a really cool, different version for Smallville, and I really like his character. I love how, what they're doing with him, and I think he's a really interesting character. I'm glad that they brought him into the series, and, um, I think he's gonna be a very interesting character for season 11. Um, Chloe and Oliver, we get to see a little, they are personally my favorite characters from Smallville. Um, I think they're doing a good job. I, I'm excited to see more of their story, what this Chloe from a different world is doing, um, why exactly, why she's important. Um, I really love their story, so I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, so this is she had some good stuff, had some bad stuff, but I'm hoping we get a little bit more Clark Kent, which I really don't think we'll get in the next issue, because, again, Superman is, has radiation on him that Lex is tracking him, so we'll see even less Clark Kent and him interacting with people. But hopefully we do get to see that. Maybe we'll get to see, oh yeah, this is the Clark Kent I know from Smallville, you know, and I'm really hoping for that. But the other characters seem like they are the characters from Smallville, especially Chloe, Oliver. They're very, because I would say Oliver and Chloe, obviously Chloe, because she hasn't even been in the comic books, but Oliver, he's so different from the Green Arrow we've seen in, you know, the comic books. So, like, it's easier to write him. But with Clark, he's, he is different from Superman in the comic books, but... It's kind of harder to write him because, like, again, we haven't seen Superman on the screen, so, like, what is the difference? We don't know the difference. We're learning the difference in here. Um, and I feel like we still haven't gotten that. But we'll see. We'll have to see. I thought this is an okay issue. I give it a three and a half. Um, I'm, the one thing, I'm, I wish I was blown away by the series, but I'm not, and that's what I'm disappointed with. I want this to be, like, a Buffy, um, season eight, like they had with, um, Josh Whedon, but it just hasn't done that yet for me. And I'm hoping it will soon, but we'll have to see. Um, future issues, we'll have to see, you know, um, hopefully the story just, like, says, oh yeah, this is definitely a Smallville series, uh, Smallville series, Smallville story. So we'll have to see, but this is Comic Uno, I give this a three and a half, I say it was okay, and, um, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and Rand Situations in the description below, there'll be a link for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I give it a three and a half, and tell me what you guys thought about this issue in the comments below. See you guys!